when the Supreme Court basically says, get somebody else to approve it. They got it wrong, first of all. The Supreme Court got it wrong. $10,000 in student loan relief? You thought. Many of us felt played, salty, after President Biden's relief plan was struck down. Come on, the hypocrisy is stunning. Biden's Secretary of Education steps into the shade room. We have a plan, we're moving forward. What he wants us to know before those student loans start up again in October. I'm Justin Carter, TSR News starts right now. Always have a plan B. And that's where President Biden's administration is right now when it comes to forgiving our student loans. TSR recently spoke exclusively to the U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, who is now tasked with figuring it all out. And he wants you to pay attention to what will be happening in the next few months. I feel upset for the 43 million people that really need that relief. The pause on student loan payments is over. Come September 1st, your loan provider will be pressing play when interest will start accruing again and payments officially starting up in October. At the shade room, the roommates are just frustrated. Um, you know, it's a lot of back and forth. Uh, some people are even saying they're not going to get a dime out of me regardless. Sally Mae um, is not, or Freddie Mac, not going to get anything out of me regardless of what happens yeah we understand that those are the same people we're fighting for you know if, if we could provide support for banks if we could provide support for airline companies if we could provide support for small businesses even some congressmen that got loan forgiveness who are complaining about ten thousand dollars believe me i i hear you uh, we're going to try to make the process as smooth as possible as clear as possible and we're looking for pathways to provide debt forgiveness to those who are trying to make ends meet. While Secretary Cardona works to develop a new student loan forgiveness plan, he says that relief is out there right now, but you got to know what you qualify for. We had the ability to provide $39 billion in debt relief last Friday. This was after the Supreme Court decision. 800,000 people received an email last Friday saying that they're done paying loans and that um, they have debt relief. So. I think it's really important for people to know we're going to continue to fight to provide targeted debt relief or debt relief to those who have earned it. It's a credit for borrowers who've been paying their loans under the Income Driven Repayment Plan, or IDR for short. Some borrowers were improperly told to go into forbearance under the program, which caused balance increases. Cardona says that $39 billion has been allocated to right the wrongs of that broken system. The White House releasing this data that shows that California, Florida, and Texas have people with the most income-driven repayment plans that are eligible right now for forgiveness. You know, a lot of your listeners right now are public servants. They might not even know that we fixed the public service loan forgiveness system, which says that if you pay your loans for 10 years and you've been working in public service for 10 years, your loans will be eliminated. It's something that we've touched on before on The Shade Room. Another $45 billion up for grabs available to public servants. People like police officers, firefighters, teachers, and social workers. Beyond public servants, because not everybody is a public servant. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have some people that work in construction. You have people like me who are journalists who are not in that uh, in that scope. The plan that we have now is going through what we call a rulemaking process, which is uh, something that I have to go through in order to propose. And it will take time. This week, the Department of Education began molding what the new debt relief program will look like. Cardona says it will take a series of public hearings and comments, developing new policies and parameters under the Higher Education Act. And then once we hear what people are thinking about that, we'll craft what it looks like, right? Um, we recognize we want to get as many people as possible. Um, but we also recognize that the Supreme Court that we're likely going to get sued on every step that we take. And I'm willing to take the lawsuits, but I want to make sure that we're putting a plan forward that we're going to win. Do you feel like it is um, something realistically that can be done because, you know, once you get to plan C and D, people start to get discouraged. Well, look, plan A, I had the authority in the, the HEROES Act. The Supreme Court saw it the other way. We had Scott legal scholars, independent legal scholars that believe we had the authority as well. We're dealing with a different Supreme Court, as the president said. So that doesn't mean that we're going to stop fighting. I do believe uh, the HEROES Act authority that I have gives me the authority. Without question, there's going to be some uh, Republicans that disagree and are going to try to sue their way to block it. Um, again, these are some of the same people that have gotten over a million dollars in debt relief themselves. 
but they're going to get a tantrum and they're going to try to stop it here. But yeah, I wouldn't go forward if I didn't think we had uh, the legal authority uh, to do this. Remember, there are war relief programs that you may qualify for. There's that $5 billion that's been set aside for disabled federal workers and another $22 billion set aside for students who were defrauded by now defunct schools like ITT Tech and Corinthian College. Your best resource right now is at studentaid.gov. That's where you can go find out all of the relief programs that are available to you right now. For TSR News, I'm Justin Carter.